started a distillery, what, a couple months ago. They invited us to come over. We may be collaborating in the future. And they gave us some tastings. We checked out their barrel room. They're still in the process of adding everything else. Everything's still yeah. getting ordered. But you can come by and get a free tasting and request their- Not a free tasting, a tour. A tour and with a tasting. a tasting. And you can request their booze at your local liquor store or you can buy some of their booze here. They've got three, a maple, a rye whiskey, and a bourbon. They're all really good. Sheiks, what'd you think of? I was actually surprised by their, their rye. Yeah. Uh, I'm normally not a rye fan at, at all. And my initial taste was, whoa, like this, this isn't that super, just, it's hard to explain, but it's, it's usually like, rye, normally rye has, has that cut. Yeah, that, exactly. That cut that's not what Makes you, you want. Yeah. 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 And uh, I was blown away because I was like, I could actually drink this yeah. and not be like, I'm only drinking this because it's, it's here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then their bourbon was super smooth. Yeah. Like, it's smooth to the point you can hold it in your mouth yep. and swallow it and not have a reaction that is that of you just drank alcohol. Yeah. I enjoyed the maple. These guys said it was a little too sweet for their liking. But I thought I had like that little sweet to us. They were telling us you could, yeah, you can mix it, like you said, excellent for baking or coffee. Co it your coffee. Definitely, when I tasted it, I thought about this would actually be kind of like good in like a barbecue sauce to sweeten yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Right, again, I'm not a big bourbon guy, whiskey guy, but I, it's starting to add to the mix, add it to the liquor shelf. And this is definitely something that I think you should invest your time in and check it out. So we're not going, the way, do you have any final thoughts? Uh, I'm just not a liquor drinker in general yeah. and I only recently like as in one time ever done a whiskey tasting when we went on our cruise so I have like now like a little bit of background knowledge and the bourbon that they have here I could drink a glass yeah like just you know after you get off work or whatever and want a glass like it was good it was yeah. smooth no really burn but it had good flavor um, I loved it and so they're, they're soft open now. They're going to have a big kind of grand opening October 20th. We're going to revisit. So we're not going to score now. We think it'd be un, unfair to give a score because it's not really complete. But again, you can stop by and, and taste for your own and get a tour now. But the big stuff's going to happen October 20th. Check us back either then or after that once they get everything settled. And then we'll give our scores and write it all up. And they're also going to be on the podcast. Check their podcast episode out as well. So, yeah. You brew it or distill it, we'll review it. Like, comment, subscribe. Jacob Cheeks, Jerry Anna, see you next time.